Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this question, I'll be going over 89. In this video, I'll be going over question 89 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try to surprise yourself. Okay, assuming you're tempted, let's just dive right in. So this, let's first of all, this range here is, is going from 0 to 50 and if we solve this in terms of y, you get y is less than 50 minus x. So then it's going to be this line right here. And if it's, let's pick like a random point here, let's say this is like 1 comma 0, is 49 greater than 0. Yep, so it, it is it going this way, right? And we're asked to find what is the probability that both of these functions are both of these components are functioning 20 months from now so let's say like in 20 months like let's say it's like right here we want both of them to be greater than 20 so let's say this is 20 this is 20 so it's going to be this line going from here here in 20 months it's going to be and we want it to be greater than 20 months it's going to be this little triangle here so if and we're in our, all of these are dy dx dy dx so we are going dy first, so going this way. If we're going this way, the top is going to be bounded by y is less than 50 minus x. So this is the line 50 minus x. And the lower bound here is going to be 20 for dy. And for dx, going this way, it's going from 20, the lower bound's 20. And upper bounds, we can just plug in 20 here, 50 minus 20. This is equal to 30, so this point must be 30. So this is going from 20 to 30. Is there a function that's like that? 20 to 30, 50 minus x to 20, so it must be b. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!